you just get it. People, because people are going to begin to realize. Because we're coming near the end game, and things are starting to accelerate. Right. You know, and people looking at George Bush is, is going to declare martial law. They think. Yeah, there's a lot of fear about that. Wouldn't surprise me. Right. In fact, uh, there's already some. There's already some talk. It's not even talk that Homeland Security is going to be involved if federal. If, if we have a national emergency in auditing what you can and can't remove from your own safe deposit boxes at some of the country's largest banks. Oh yeah, there's no, there's no question that there's stuff going around where uh, if they want to repossess the gold and, and that people have privately. Your own private your own personal private, gold. Right, that you, know, you won't be able to go into a bank vault without somebody from mm -hmm. Homeland Security there with you to see what you're taking exactly. out. You know, I mean, it's a complete and what's takeover. It take to executive, there are executive orders out there that say the government has the ability to put you on a work detail. In other words, let's say you're a teacher in Oregon, they can put you digging ditches in Ohio. That's an executive order. They can relocate whole populations if they want to. That's, these are real executive orders. I mean, the government is planning a takeover of the American people. I understand, and I, haven't, I've, I know some of this to be true, but I understand there are 800 internment camps I was just going to ask you this question next, and I didn't, and I didn't know it was up to 800, but not, uh, it's my understanding that not only do they exist, I actually went to a conference listening to an engineer, very dry presentation on how they build them, how they tunnel that far every day, and the kind of the technical end of building these camps right. underground, which are spotted all over the United States. Yes. Now, most people don't know these exist. No, and they what don't. the heck are they building them for if not for use? Well, they claim they're building them for if there's too much immigration into the country, you know, if it gets crazy. Around everybody up? <laughs> you know, I, you know, at this point, um, it's hard to know. It's hard to know what's in their minds. All I know is the fact is that, it's, that they're building them. That's for real. Right. And you know, how they're going to use them is speculation on my part. Right. But any good, any good logical. Uh, way of thinking lets you know what they can use them for. Right. And so even though I can't prove what, what's in their minds, uh, it's pretty obvious. And um, it seems to me that what we have to fight for is to restore the very essence of what Thomas Jefferson and James Madison gave us here, that we control the government. That it's, this is about we the people again, not about the government and these bankers working together to stifle us.